14, we're asked to measure the length of the line PQ. Give your answer in centimetres. So we need to get our ruler out. Make sure you've got your ruler for the exam. And put your ruler, make sure the zero goes on one side. Do not do this, that's a mistake. Put the zero in line with the zero on one side. And the answer was about seven, was seven in the exam, okay? So you would have to write seven centimetres. Seven centimetres. Okay, part B. Now, here we go, a really, really important point here. Diagram not, draw, uh, not accurately drawn. That means you must, must, must not get out your protractor and try and measure it. It is not acceptable to do that. You have to, when you see that sign, use your angle facts to answer the question. So it's asking you the value of x. Well, x turns out to be 78, and the reason is because opposite angles are equal. You have to remember the term opposite angles are equal. Now, just say you're having a bad day in the exam, yeah? You're not feeling it, things aren't coming to you. Just look, they look about the same. If you just use your logic, they look about the same. So if you had to guess uh, something, um, guess 78. Now, what a lot of students did, they thought they were on a line and took them away from 180 or took 70 away from 360. Just look, you know this looks like it's an acute angle. So just think like that if you're really stuck. Also, the two angles, I mean, how would you describe them to someone? They're opposite each other. That will remind you of the word in case you're stuck. Just say what you see, catchphrase style, okay? So there we go, that's question done.